What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. And Sister of High State Light, what is the message? speaking to you, um, whoever you are, you are, uh, very adaptive and, um, well, you're an empath. Okay. Uh, whoever you are, you're the type of person where you, you pour into other people's cups. You might not even realize that this is what you do, but you are just, your presence helps to heal people. I feel like whoever you are, you're also somebody who people can rely on for advice, generally speaking. And, whether you know this or not, whether you really really realize this, a lot of the advice that you give is coming from another place. It's channeling. You're channeling messages to people. Okay, one one eight one two. Um. So okay, movement forward. Um. Huh. Okay. Mhm. Mm it's like um. You have the ability, okay, it's like the, the, uh, your ability to be able to see outside of yourself or to be able to see the bigger picture is just like, it's, um, it's like, um, people are always very surprised by you, like your wisdom. And it, I feel like it doesn't always come out because you are very reserved or, well, some of you, okay, I feel like spirit is also asking for some of you to be a little bit more reserved with your energy with the hermit card here, or maybe you have been pouring into other people's cups for so long. It's like, it's important. Okay. So you're somebody who you're fixing a lot of other people's problems, so to speak, not fixing, but you just, it's like people come to you for insight and you offer a lot of insight. Okay. But it's like, uh, spirit is also asking you to, um, Make sure that you are taking space for yourself to be able to heal so you're not absorbing other people's energy so often. Because I, I, whoever you are, I feel like you don't really even realize it, that you are very connected to the collective consciousness. And this, this energy, this uh, you're having to connect... You're having to connect with the person who's asking you the question, their energy, okay, which is in essence it compromises your energy, so to speak. Okay. If you're not grounded enough within your own energy, so to speak. Okay. So it's like, um, and you end up on the astral plane. Um, it's something about your perspective on things too. Like the way that you explain things to people, it's like when, when people feel hopeless, you bring them a lot of hope. Okay. Okay. Um, you are divinely protected as well. It's like whatever you do, you do really well too, okay? But it's like you have to make sure that you are staying grounded within your own reality. Um, what else, Spirit Ancestors of the Highest White Light? And, and keeping yourself balanced. There was a message about somebody, I feel like somebody doesn't even realize... Huh. It's like somebody doesn't even realize that they're connecting to the astral plane whenever they're giving advice to people. And it's like if the energy isn't like, it's like I'm hearing light a candle. It's like if the energy isn't right for you to channel and to give this, this advice, just don't. You don't have to know everything and you don't have to help everyone, okay? Um, and it's like, honestly, I feel like this is making it difficult for someone or it might even be two people here, but I feel like, of course, we're just going to focus on one person. Um, cause I have a few cards of like doubles. Oh, I get it. Okay. It's like, um, it's like, don't, 
um, it's like, don't burn yourself out. Um, just set better boundaries. It's like somebody feels like every single time they go out, somebody needs help or somebody wants their opinion or somebody wants some sort of spiritual guidance. And it's like, um, and then people complain because you don't want to go out so much. Okay. Because you are protecting your energy when you're not going out. So it's like somebody really just needs to tell their friends or somebody needs to tell somebody that it's like, okay, I, I would love to come out and hang out, but I can't always be channeling. It's like somebody is, there's like a friend or family or there's people who I'm hearing like get mad when you don't go out, but then when you do go out with them, they all just always want something from you, which is like advice or help or like a listening ear, but it's like, that's not fun for you to go out. It's not enjoyable for you. Not that it's not even, not even that it's not enjoyable. I actually feel like you really like helping people. Okay. But it's like, it, it drains you to the point where then it's like, you can't go out because you, you in, in essence are become so engulfed in other people's energy. And it's like, they continually want you to be coming out, so to speak, or like to hang out with you because it's like, it's like somebody is figuring out, it's like you're figuring out solutions for people. It's like, I don't, I hope that this is making sense because I'm not really hearing what I'm saying. I'm, if that makes any sense, sometimes when I channel, it just kind of comes through. So it's like, um, okay. And it might be even like somebody has just recently kind of taken a break from their friends and they're ready to like come out, so to speak, like like back into society, right? Ready to make their big debut back into society after having been a hermit for a little while. And it's like, you're, you are out of, you are out of, uh, this confusion, so to speak, this, um, you, you re grounded yourself. Okay. Um, after having been re grounded and it's like, I feel like what spirit is just saying and asking you to do, um, I believe this reading is for you, right? All of my readings are general readings. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. The entire story may resonate with you, okay? Remember, you guys? Um, it's like spirit is asking you to um, just have more fun, actually. Honestly, that's kind of what it is. It's like, it's like make it work for you. When you go out, make it work for you, okay? You don't always have to fix everybody's problems. And if your friends are always asking you to fix their problems for you, it's like you know, that takes, it takes a lot of energy for you to be able to do that. And I'm hearing though, it's like they, they complain. It's almost made them feel like entitled to this also, which, and that's not, that's not good. Um, so it's like somebody's friends are like, actually like, it also, it makes me feel like somebody, it's like, it's like your if your friends only like you for what you can do for them, it's like it makes it feel like the love is not condition or is in, is not unconditional. Like this this friendship or this love is conditional, but it 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 isn't. But it feels that way because it's like um because it's like you're having to give them like a service, so to speak. You know what I mean? Or or you are constantly serving them whenever you know, you go out, so to speak. So, um, I don't know. I feel like, okay, six of pentacles. Yeah. It's whoever you are, you're very generous and you're very kind and you do believe in, um, you know, giving and receiving for, um, you know, the, for the good of all. Um, but you do have to have compassion for yourself and there's gotta be some sort of balance. Okay. We have the two of pentacles here. It's like, there really has to be some sort of balance when you go out. Like, I don't know what you're doing when you go out, you know, like I'm, I feel like maybe somebody's like going out and like grabbing drinks or something like that. And it's like, it's like you're interested in your, in knowing what your friends are doing. Right. Um, and it's like, wow, this is crazy because it's also like, I'm hearing also like, um, when you go out with your friends, it's like sometimes you don't have a whole lot to share because you're just trying to, you have spent the whole time away from your friends, like trying to um, rediscover your vitality, so to speak, from the last time you saw them. Um, and we're trying to fix 
their issues, so to speak. Okay, so um, let's see what else is going on here. Okay, this is kind of confusing a little bit. Um, Ten of Wands, like release this burden, okay? Um, easier said than done, I know it, but it's like, I feel like this is even kind of, like somebody doesn't realize that this is, that this ungroundedness and this, somebody has a lot of compassion for their, for the people that they love. Somebody's very protective of the people that they love, but here's the thing, you know what, we're all on our own journey and it's like, I don't know, I feel like somebody, this, this is going to sound so much worse than it really, I mean it to sound, but it's like somebody needs to get a hobby, like or somebody needs to learn how to speak about more mundane things. And I'm, I'm talking about, well, it could be your friends because maybe they need to speak about, they need, they need to learn how to speak. Like you need something. I was going to say like you, you need to get a hobby or whoever it is. That's always helping people needs to get a hobby and needs to learn how to speak more about mundane things because it's like that way the conversation will will not go to like your friends always or you always needing to help and fix things about but it's also like i think your friends or somebody's friends or family also need to get hobbies and, and you need to learn how to connect around something else so i feel like that's a lot of extra work that you would have to do it's like but i don't know it's like maybe these aren't really good friends and maybe you just need to not feel bad for like not wanting to hang out with them right But I know that you will do whatever is right for you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune. It's leaving somebody really emotionally unfulfilled and it's it or even just like emotionally exhausted. Because you you're having to feel the feelings that these people are going through in order to offer them advice. And it might be like in such a, a very quick like it's it's like it, it happens so quickly you might not even realize it until you've channeled the message and then all of a sudden you might just feel really, really exhausted. Or because honestly, like I, when I channel messages, it's just like a really quick zip of information that like an, an influx of like information and then I channel and I feel that Holy Spirit and I feel very energized by that energy of the Holy Spirit that I'm channeling, right? And the messages that I'm channeling, but then afterwards I can feel exhausted. So it's like, so if I don't catch myself, and I continue and I stay in that, that, that high frequency, like Holy Spirit channeling energy, it, it feels really good. And I, I can channel for as long as I need to, you know what I mean? But at, at some point, it's like, I could, it's like, I could channel, let's say hypothetically, I am at the bar having drinks. I don't drink. So this is hypothetical, but like if I was at the bar having drinks with a friend and I didn't, yeah, I didn't know what else to talk about. And like, they were let's say, how do I say it? It's like, okay, I'm at the bar talking with friends and I, I could channel for hours. You know what I mean? And it would not hit me or it would, I would not realize that it, that, that channeling and that energy that I'm using exhausts me until after I'm done channeling. Right. So it's like, I feel like somebody is like in a, in a constant, cycle of like channeling to their friends and it, they don't feel exhausted because they're in that Holy Spirit energy. But then it's like after they get out of that Holy Spirit energy, there's like a come down and it's like somebody just really needs to be more mindful of their energy in that regard. Okay. We've got the death card here. So there is some sort of change that's happening, a transformation um, that includes more harmony. Okay. Temperance card here. Temperance can also be abstinence. So I don't know, maybe somebody, you know, abstinent. It could be, maybe you need to be more abstinent from, uh, you know, channeling these messages um, and, or just be more patient with yourself and, and also maybe more patient with other people too. And just recognize that, that we're all on our own journey, you know, um, the hanged man here. I mean, the hanged man indicates, you know, just kind of like, taking it easy, you know, just like, you can just sit there and listen. You don't have to answer everything, you know? Um, and if somebody really needs help too, it, it's okay to say, Hey, you know, I don't really have the emotional capacity to deal with this right now. You know, mm -hmm. anything else? Spirit. Six of Swords. So just, you know, moving forward in a positive way. Whoop. Moving forward in a positive way.
of white. Yeah, you're. You, we've got the Empress here. We've got the Empress. We've got the King of Cups as well. It's like... Yeah, it's like you don't even know and they don't even know that this is kind of sabotaging. Uh, it's like sabotaging you, so to speak. I don't want to uh, manifest that in anybody's life, but it is like... Um, I don't know. It's like, but we have the six of wands here too. So like whatever happens, it's going to be successful. You are, you are a channel ace of swords here. Okay. You know, the divine truth. And a lot of people come to you for that. And I feel like a lot of people's spirit guides bring you, bring them to you to help with this as well. Okay. Um, like you're very attractive. Just make sure that you are being careful with your energy, okay? We've got the chariot as well with the four of wands here. I don't know. So you might have some love coming in as well. This could even be somebody uh, who you were in a relationship with who also, like, needed advice from you. And it was like spirit had to disconnect the two of you because it was like they, they needed to go on their own journey and figure out their own thing, you know? Um, because um, your energy... Uh, mm -hmm. yeah because you needed to be more careful with your energy um, a higher fight here but somebody does want a higher level of commitment so I feel like just at the right time too they're going to come back into your life but just um, this is Nina by the way you guys hello Nina <laughs> she's blessing the cards so um but I do think that that's the end of the reading. I hope that you guys are doing really, really amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Nina, thank you for being here too. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sending you guys so much love. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.